Ladies and gentlemen, people of the internet, today I'll be walking you through how to delegate Cardano ADA with the official Hashoshi stake pool so you can earn consistent rewards and participate in making blocks on the Cardano mainnet. If you love Cardano, please do consider subscribing to the channel as well because I make tons of Cardano content on the channel that you might enjoy. All right, so let's go ahead and hash this out. First, let me walk you through some of the basics about delegating your ADA to stake pools in the Cardano network. We're gonna keep things high level, but if you're interested in a deep dive, let me know in the comments below. First of all, many people ask what delegating does, and in the simplest possible terms, when you delegate your ADA to a stake pool like my H4SH stake pool, you are effectively increasing the chance that my stake pool is able to make a block of transactions on the Cardano network. Delegators are basically issuing a vote of confidence that a given stake pool should be minting blocks on the network, and this happens in a cycle called an epoch. Up to a certain saturation level, which currently sits at 64 million ADA, give or take, per stake pool, the more delegation a stake pool gets, the more consistently it will mint blocks, earn rewards, and of course, pay those rewards to delegators like yourself. In other words, your delegation helps my pool and other pools on the blockchain create blocks. It helps the Cardano network remain secure through proof of stake, and it earns you rewards. Now, with small pools like mine, there is more variability to the number of blocks that will be minted and subsequent rewards for those blocks. So you might have one epoch or period of lower rewards and then a period of higher rewards the next epoch because there's some randomness and luck involved in the process and so this really in the net averages out to about five and a half to six percent reward rate that you will find anywhere so the rule of thumb is that all pools big or small tend to net the same average rewards over time small pools just tend to vary more from epoch to epoch whereas larger pools stay consistent at around that percentage return. Generally, small pools are a great place to be, partly because you don't have to worry about the pool becoming oversaturated above that max delegation threshold, which will be changing fairly soon, so make sure you are paying attention to that. Now, there are a ton of ways to delegate ADA to a stake pool, so let me talk about the three main ways. There is the Daedalus Desktop Wallet, that's the official wallet for Cardano. There's also the Yoroi mobile app wallet and through a hardware wallet on Ada Lite's web application. So first, let's go ahead and cover the Yoroi mobile wallet on iOS and Android because it's one of the easiest ways to do this. If your Ada is on an exchange and you are new to Yoroi, simply follow the tutorial link down below in the description and pinned comment to create a Yoroi wallet for the very first time and then send the Ada from the exchange or from another wallet that you have over to Yoroi. From there, you'll be able to head over to the Delegate tab where you will see an easy way to search for different stake pools. To stake to the Hashoshi stake pool, enter in H4SH in the search bar, which is the ticker symbol, and then hit the search icon. You should then see my pool in the list as the first or second result. From there, you will select Delegate, and it will ask you for your spending password that you set when you created this wallet. It will then ask you for the amount you wish to delegate. If you already delegated to another pool in the app and you're now moving it, you don't have to manually undelegate. You can just follow this process to move your delegation to my pool. So either way, these instructions will work. Now, if you use the Daedalus wallet on your desktop, then here's how you can delegate to the H4SH Hashoshi stake pool. You wanna open the Daedalus wallet on your desktop to make sure it is fully synchronized with the Cardano network, and that can take a bit, so make sure you do this in advance if it's been a while. Once synced, you can go to the left sidebar menu and select the network looking icon to go to the delegation center. From there, use the top tab menu to go to the stake pools tab, and then again, search for the H4SH stake pool using the ticker symbol or the pool ID that is in the description below. You will again see the pool in the list, and if you select my pool, you can then see some pool stats, and of course, the button to delegate to this pool. Select that delegate to this pool button, and then follow these steps here to select the wallet that you wanna delegate from, and you may have more than one, then you can go ahead and select the pools that you wanna add, if any. For now, I'm just gonna show you how to delegate to just my pool. Then click on to the point where you need to enter your spending password, same as you did on your Roy. And once you enter your password and then hit enter, it will basically wait for the transaction to confirm, which costs about two ADA, by the way, and then you're good to go. Your delegation will commence and you can easily check it from the delegation center. And finally, Let's say you wanna use your Ledger Nano or Trezor hardware wallet to store your ADA. 
you can use the Ada Lite web interface to sign transactions and delegate to my pool straight from your hardware wallet in a non-custodial fashion, just like all these other options, no one else has to hold your keys. The critical part of this is to be sure that you're on the official Ada Lite website and not a phishing site. So please make sure it is adalite.io and nothing else. Be very careful for lookalike sites that are faking as Ada Lite. I will leave a written tutorial about this in the description as well, so just as an additional resource if you like written guides. Now the same sort of process applies here, but you have one major prerequisite step, which is to connect your hardware wallet to your computer using the appropriate cable, unlock the wallet with your pin, and open the Cardano app on that hardware wallet if applicable. Ledger Nano devices, for example, do require you to open the Cardano app. Once you've done that, you can use the Adalite interface to connect your wallet and sign your delegation transaction. To do that, again, you're first going to select hardware wallet on the first screen of Adalite, then you're gonna select your wallet of choice. For me here, that was a Ledger Nano X, so I selected unlock with Ledger. Once the wallet page loads, you will see your Ada wallet, which you can use to delegate and earn rewards. Simply select the staking tab up top, then paste the pool ID onto the field labeled stake pool ID. And that pool ID again is in the description down below for my H4SH stake pool. And of course it will be in the pinned comment. Once you enter that ID, you should be able to see my pool info populate, checking the fee and pool ticker symbol for accuracy really quickly and then go ahead and select the delegate button and then confirm transaction. Now, unfortunately I lost the footage of me actually doing this, but this part is where you will need to physically confirm the transaction on your hardware wallet. Just to make sure that all the information is correct, this is a very normal process. If you've signed transactions on hardware wallet before, you will have done this before. It just requires physical confirmation using the buttons or touchscreen, depending on your wallet model. Once the transaction is submitted, you'll see the screen telling you that it is syncing and then loading. And this can take a little bit, so don't worry if it's spinning a while. But once done, you'll be able to go to your main wallet page again and see both the small transaction fee you spent to delegate. And then if you go to the staking tab again, you'll see the current delegation section now showing up on the right side. And that should now be aligned to the H4SH stake pool. Any and all delegation that goes to my stake pool is genuinely and truly appreciated. Of course, my goal is A, to help the Cardano network with content and minting blocks, of course, and B, to provide a stake pool that gives you all rewards for delegating. So thank you so much for watching the channel and for delegating to my pool. I hope you have a great week and weekend ahead. And until next time, cheers.